What's up YouTube, Dr. McIntosh here with Health and Performance Center. I want to hop on here and make a video about post weigh-in nutrition. So this is the post weigh-in nutrition episode. I'm Dr. McIntosh with Health and Performance Center in St. Louis. And so I want to get you guys to understand what to eat and why in the post weigh-in setting. So I want to get you guys to understand the there's three phases after you weigh in. There's the early phase, there's the late, then there's the pre-match, you know, post warm-up style. So we're going to start with the early. As soon as you weigh in, from zero seconds being as soon as you step off the scale to 15 minutes, that is the early weigh-in uh, stage. What do I want you to consume in that, in that window? I want you to get two things in your head. You need electrolytes, you need carbs. Electrolytes, aim for 500 to 1,000 milligrams of sodium either in an electrolyte supplement such as liquid IV, noon tabs, thermo tabs, or you can just put uh, half a tablespoon of uh, table salt and um, sh shoot it down or, or mix it in with water. Uh, but however you get it, I want you to get between 500 and 1,000 milligrams of sodium together with about 25 ounces of water. And I want you to get 30-ish grams of carbs from fruit and about 30 to 50 grams of carbs from starch. Now, listen here. Grapes, dates, peaches, pears, bananas, those are good sources. You want fruit because it has glucose and fructose because it's going to restore your muscle and liver glycogen, which is important uh, post weigh-in. But the starch, you need to start fueling your muscles, get your muscle glycogen back after the weight cut. Now, this meal is super important. You should do it immediately after you get off the scale. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to just start pounding food. You want to slowly sip on your electrolyte mix. You want to slowly eat on some of the fruit. And just make sure you get it in with, within that 15-minute window. Some optional things here. Uh, you know, I would consult a physician or a parent before you make any choices about any supplements. But I would say caffeine has been shown to... Uh, make you, re you synthesize glycogen faster. So the carbs that you eat are going to get into your muscle and liver faster if you have uh, some caffeine. So if that's uh, an option for you, 100 to 300 milligrams as a supplement or let's say a sugar-free energy drink is a good idea. So the late, the late stage, which basically means after the first window, so after 15 minutes to about 30 minutes, or before you start your warm-ups, you want to get another meal. So this is meal number two. What do I want you to have? More electrolytes. You're going to take them down a notch, so about 500 milligrams uh, with another 25 ounces of water. Again, liquid IV, noon tabs, thermo tabs, or just plain table salt. Now you're going to throw in some protein. 20 to 40 grams of a very low-fat, complete protein source. It's probably going to be an animal-based. Now, we want low fat because it lowers the calories. It's going to get out of your stomach faster if it has lower calories. So, some good sources would be uh, whey isolate powder, protein powder, turkey, chicken, ground beef, Greek yogurt. Now, I put a star down here because protein is super important in the late stage. First stage is electrolytes carbs. The late stage is uh, starting to add some protein in now. If you have a weak stomach, which some people just don't digest food very well, I want you guys to go with the protein powder. Uh, if not, choose real food. And optimally, I want you to eat Greek yogurt with whatever source you choose. So, for example, you have some chicken. Okay, we'll have a Greek yogurt cup and some chicken. And then from the carbs on there, we're just, we're just continually adding carbs into your meal. I want you to have another 50 grams uh, from a quick absorbing source, and now in the late stage, you can add some uh, some some fiber from uh, vegetables, carrots, celery, bell peppers, etc. 
Another optional, another chance for caffeine here. Again, I would uh, check with a physician or your parent to make sure that uh, that's fine. Uh, but caffeine can, can be huge here, again, with the, the glycogen synthesis process. Pre-match or after your warm-up. Here's what you want to look for. You want to be comfortably full. You won't, don't want to have an uncomfortable bloated belly situation. And you want to be hydrated. How do you know if you're hydrated? If you go from way in, early stage meal one, late stage meal two, and you get to your warm up and you get a really good sweat going, that means you're hydrated. Now, from this point on, right before your match up to uh, after your match, uh, you basically just sip on water. You've got enough electrolytes, you should be fine, just water, and you want to sip on it. You don't want to be pounding it, right? Food wise, you're back to your normal. In-season wrestling diet, lean protein sources, any vegetable, fruit, small amounts of dairy. You can add in uh, cheeses, more Greek yogurt. You can go with the 2%. You can go with cottage cheese. Uh, but you didn't want to add those right after you weigh in because you want to have the calories low, fats low to digest a little bit faster. So in summary, there are three stages of weigh-in nutrition. Early stage, 0 to 15 minutes, you need to focus on electrolytes and fruit. You want basically salt and carbs to get your, uh, get your energy back, get your muscles back, filled up with uh, glycogen. Late stage, between about 15 and 30 minutes, now you want to have a protein meal, add more carbs, take the electrolytes down just a little bit, but you still want to have electrolytes. Pre-match or post-warm-up, you're going to eat another small meal if you're really hungry. Otherwise, I would avoid it, and you're going to sip on water from here out. Uh, now, in the link below, I'm going to have some links to, uh, to, to good uh, protein sources, to good electrolyte supplements, supplements that I use and would recommend uh, to my wrestlers. So, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below. Otherwise, hit like, subscribe, and uh, share this video. Thanks for watching.